This is Good Morning San Diego. Good morning. Once again, happy Sunday, everybody. I'm Elizabeth Alvarez. And I'm Jason Ostell. It's Sunday, June 16th. It's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. Got a lot coming up in this hour. Yes. Uh, coming up, we are going to talk about how to write your own memoir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is going to be exciting. Sometimes that can be a difficult thing. Yeah. You know, how do you get started? You've mm -hmm. got so much on your mind, so many, uh, you know, things that you want to get down. But how do you put it all? What's the format? We're going to talk to in someone about In a structured, that. organized yeah. Way. All right, a lot of people are interested in writing a memoir or a legacy book, but very few people do because sometimes they don't know how to. It can be confusing. So, here to share some tips on how to get the ball rolling is author Sandy Masori. Sandy, thank you for joining us. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. I've already learned so much from you. Oh. You know, so let's start with <laughs> what would be a reason that someone would want to write a memoir? There's a lot of reasons that people would want to write a memoir. On the simplest is just to leave a legacy, your story for your children, your grandchildren, your great grandchildren, your great 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 grandchildren so they know who you were on the higher end side is to leave a legacy for historians like we were talking about earlier you know how much would we know about the Holocaust if it weren't for Anne Frank mm -hmm. and her diary that was mm -hmm. published you yeah, know and what they went through right exactly and then on the higher higher end there's people who have lived crazy lives and they want to see them turned into a movie someday or something like that so you know there's all different reasons whether it's something really simple that it's just you know I want my family to know who I was mm -hmm. um, you know know all the way to I want the world to know right I see so we were talking also about titles yeah and this gentleman wrote one through my father's eyes so. that's right yeah so so this gentleman Frank he wrote a book it's uh, it's a tribute to his father mm -hmm. it's really timely today on Father's Day it sure is yeah and so this book basically is he wrote his his father's biography for him or the, his memories of his dad so you could do it as your own stories or you could do it as stories of your family members especially mm -hmm. you know your earliest memories of maybe your grand parents or those stories that never got told. There's so much wisdom, yeah. you know, in and our older generation. I noticed that all of these memoirs look, the books look like they're about the same size. They're not necessarily, they're not novels, they're just yes. memoirs. And, and so the, the trim size, as they call it, is six by nine. That's kind of the industry standard. Okay. And really self-publishing has become so accessible now through Amazon, through Barnes and Noble. You mm. know, it's, it's no longer what it used to be that, you know, you have to have 10,000 books in your garage. You, right. can, you can put it out there and only order a few. You know. So if somebody wants to write a memoir and you've been through the process, yeah. how do you start? Well, there's a few different ways that you can do it. So first of all, the simplest way is you can start with your pictures, right? I mean, any mm -hmm. of us that are older, we've got these shoe boxes full of photographs. Yes, we do. Before they were all digital. For people who are younger, you know, their pictures might all be digital. But still, you've got a lot of pictures. You can just start by telling the stories of the pictures. Yeah. Um, so that's on the simplest way. If you don't want to write a book that you're publishing through Amazon or putting out there in public, you know, an easy way is to do it as a photo book. You can do it through Shutterfly, through Costco. There's a oh, lot yeah. of, you know, CVS. There's a lot of different places where you can do a photo book where you can just put simple words on the bottom. And then if you really want to do something that's more structured, um, a really good way is just to start with your favorite stories. You know, everybody has those stories that they tell on the holidays, right? Mm -hmm, sure. Start with those stories. What are your favorite stories to tell? What are your earliest memories? You could start with, you know, the stories of your, of if you knew your great grandparents, you mm. know, those stories. Or it could just be wisdom. What do you want to pass on to your future descendants? You know, what do you want your great grandchildren, your great great grandchildren mm -hmm. to know about you and your life? So there really aren't any rules. There really aren't. It's, it's just a matter of what you emotionally want them to know and yeah, historically. Yeah, what you what legacy do you want to leave for your family or the world? Wow. Is there any certain number of chapters it should be? Um, not or really. Just, no? If if you want to publish it like this, I do recommend that it's at least 130 two pages, but that's maybe 70 pages in Word. Mm -hmm. And if you're using pictures, that goes really quick. And I imagine, uh, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, the only reason I recommend 132 is because that's the number of pages you need in order to be able to print on the spine. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, so that, that's where that magic that. number comes 132. from. 132. Okay, 132. Keep that in mind. That's right. But I think it's really interesting how it doesn't have to be something necessarily in words, visual. Absolutely. And because you can, from like you said, go to the websites right from your computer. You can make yeah, these and, books. And, and you know what? There's apps. You can do it right on your phone. And so that's another thing. A lot of times people get tripped up like, oh, I really want to write something, but I, you know, I get really intimidated or I'm overwhelmed when I look at the paper. Yeah. Well, you have a phone. Everybody's got a phone, right? You can just record your stories when you're driving. You know, put it on, put it on Bluetooth. Go, you know, and just, uh, you know what? Today I'm going to talk about, uh, in, you know, in, in 1970. 
five, th this happened, right. or, or you know, whatever. And then transcribe yeah, it later. Yeah, exactly, and then have it transcribed later. Or some people are like, oh, well, when I'm driving, you know, I'm busy, I'm doing this and that. Well, I mean, this is gonna sound a little bit funny, but everybody goes to the bathroom. Mm. You know, I promise the transcriptionists aren't gonna record, you know, <laughs> record every sound. So, you know, you can always find right. some time to just yeah. record something. Okay, that's great, great information. And on Father's Day, too. A lot of fathers Father's think Day. about it. You wanna leave a legacy uh, for your children, yes, grandchildren? exactly, exactly, right. because they wanna know you. Yeah, Sandy Missouri, thank you so much for thank coming you. in. Thank you, thank you.